the best split to build muscle is arm day every day. <laughs> Booty every day. <laughs> no, but seriously, in reality, there's no perfect split. It varies from person to person on like numerous factors. Your schedule kind of depends on you, whether you want to work out two to three days or four to five days or like six to seven days. Yeah, or your work schedule. If you yeah. work midnight and you got to come in one day, the other day, whatever it is. So the biggest factor is your frequency, which is how often you're training a muscle group per week. And that totally depends on how intense the training session is, the total volume you're doing, and how often you want to train that certain muscle group. For instance, if you have a weak point, you might want to train arms more, you might want to train rear delts more, you might want to uh, lighten up on legs because they take longer to recover. Yeah, or if you're doing different sports like bodybuilding, powerlifting, weightlifting, football, strongman, yeah, any sports, kind of sport, it yeah. depends on your recovery and what your goal is, really. So there's a couple common splits that people do that I would recommend, especially to beginners. One of the common splits is a push-pull legs program. So this would be your pushing muscles first, so that would be your chest, your interior delts, or so the front delts, you can throw in side delts as well, and your triceps. All these muscles produce a function of pushing, so like your presses, um, front raises, anything that's going to be kind of a pushy movement you put on a push day. A pull day is going to be your back, your biceps, any kind of motion that's pulling, so a barbell curl, a dumbbell row, anything like that's going to be a pulling movement. Your rear delts as well are going to be thrown on a pull day. And finally for legs, you're just going to do quads, hams, and glutes, or anything you'd like to lower body on that day. Two other common splits, especially if you have a lower frequency or you, you have a really busy life, you can do an upper lower kind of body split. So you do lower body twice a week or upper body twice a week and you just kind of bounce back and forth between upper and lower. Another split that is common is a full body workout. So you would just like throw in each muscle group into that. And so a good way to do that would be utilizing a lot of compound exercises so you can attack different muscle groups all at once. Finally, you get the bro split. So the bro split is also very common, especially with bodybuilders. And so that's doing a chest day, a back day, an arm day, anything like that. So it's going to be five, six exercises per you know muscle and just hitting that muscle group once a week, really. Um, so what we do and what we've been, I mean, you've been doing it longer than I Past have. year. Yeah, yeah, but um, we do like chest and back, shoulders and arms, and then legs, and then we repeat it, mm -hmm. and then we take our rest. Yep, so we do that cycle twice a week so that we have six days working out and then we have one rest day. And so we just kind of cycle through that. So that seems to also work out really well for us frequency wise to where we're still pushing as much as we can within a week that we're still recovering from those workouts. So again, which split works best for you is completely dependent on frequency, how often you can train, uh, what your goals are, what sports you do, and all that's going to factor in helping you decide what split is best for you to do. Typically our rest days, so we work out six days a week, so our seventh day is our rest day, but we do an active rest day, so we're moving, we try to get out, go for a walk, go outside and work out. Just something to get the heart rate Abs, up. yeah, just yeah. something to do. For cardio, we definitely don't recommend doing a cardio day that some people would do. Uh, you'd want to throw that in on ideally a low intensity kind of day so we do it on like arms and shoulders versus doing it on legs yes, when yeah. you're doing something very intense squats deadlifts something that's heavy this way it's a lot easier on you and your body for recovery purposes so that's all we got for you today hope you like this informative video like it comment if you have any questions or any opinion on this what split do you do and uh, check out for our next video on monday